So, but in this example, all they're asking you guys to do is to write this in one. I'm going to decide to do this one. Um, the other one, the other example, number 19, is exactly the same equation, so I'm not going to do it. The only thing is you're just changing basically the values. So if you guys look at this, basically all I ask you guys to do is relate this to one of those over there. Well, is it, is it, does it look like the sum and difference of cosine? The sum and difference of cosine, this is number, I don't know. Yes, I told you to write those down, the sum and difference formulas. Those are provided to you. But we only have those. Right, and that's all you're using. So if you look at this, is it cosine? Cos is this say cosine, cosine, no. plus, minus? No, no, sine, sine, no. It doesn't look like the tangent? No, definitely doesn't look like tangent. So it has to be the sine. Plus. So it's sine. Now you look at the dip, the this sine between them is subtraction. So when I look at the sine of sine, when it's subtraction, that means it's the subtraction of the two angles. So it's sine of u times, I'm just going to write this out, cosine of v minus cosine of u times the sine of v. Well, what does that formula represent? That represents the this, this difference of two angles for sine. Sine of u minus v. So all I simply need to do is subtract my u minus my v. Well, what's my u and what's my v? Well, u, v, u, v. So all you had to do was do sine of 42 minus 17. Done. So it's kind of a two-part step. The first step is identifying, um, actually a three-part step. Is it 